I love how I point out a weak spot and then I say, let's wait and see. How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Tazastrakul. Where is everyone? I don't know. But we're here in RimWorld. What are we doing today? I hear you asking. That is a great, great question. Today we are going to get our solar panel farm up and running, making sure we've got enough power. We're going to get a battery room probably over here just for the time being. Probably not now we look at it. We still don't know where. We still don't know where. Maybe just there would just be absolutely fine. And we're going to start building our defences um, because we're going to start to get attacked a little bit more and continue mining for steel and components. So it's going to be an action-packed progress episode. Progress, I was trying to be cool. I was trying to be hip to the hop to the who. Let's get on with it. Yeah, because all our friends, the Concord, are coming through. Awesome. We've got another alpaca that's coming to the crew. Uh, if we go to animals. Not in pen. I assume it's because it's going to be making its way there. Awesome. So that's awesome. So the wall grief is at 30%. Okay, all the solar panels are up, which is really, really good. Going into structures. I don't want to build a steel. I'd love to build a limestone wall. And then if I just pause it while I do this so I can get the dimensions. Obviously, the bedrooms eventually we're going to move on. Just for now, then, this can be the battery room. I know it's not um, ideal by any stretch of the imagination. But, I don't know, I think we I think we can make it something special. And if I go power, power, conduits. Probably going to be too many. Anyway, reinstall. Reinstall, and then we will make a few more batteries as well. And I think that will kick us off very, very nicely. I'm even going to put... A lamp in the room. Just, you know, people might go in there to have a look at how things work. Let's make sure they're not in dark. Yep, and then that will be automatically connected to there. Perfect. Oh, look, we're smashing it already. Speed free. Like, the progress is crazy. We've got some components that need hauling. Because we don't actually have any components in the stockpile for the moment. I was going to extend the stockpile, but actually we're not really filling it up as is. So that's not going to be like a massive priority. Uh, Eclipse is ending, which means our solar panels will actually be able to get us some form of electricity, which will be huge. Once that is built, then I will start queuing up our kill box here. Obviously, we've got our ancient danger there, which I haven't even marked out. I swear I did. I always like just putting... I think everyone does that I've seen play this. They like just putting a D there, just just in case you forget. Eight components there. A bit of steel there. If we look at moods, because... All right, we've got... So we've got a big stacked times five because we've mined. Trees harmed is still minus five. Um, That's fine. I'd much prefer... Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, they're not liking the environment, so we will have to note that. We might have to just grow more trees, which is fine, because I'm wondering where they're working, they're coming straight into here. They're not really seeing any trees down this sort of stretch. But we know our farm solar flare is not great, all the electrics go down. Um, we know these farms are eventually might just get pushed all up to there, because this is really fertile as well if we check. Obviously, we've got that marsh there, which is fine. And then we've got the borders, so we can't build anything further. There's like an imaginary line down there if we go into planning. Yeah. So that'll be one of the massive farms, which mean, and then this will be open to probably push the bedrooms down to. Or just grow more trees. Either or, I think, is going to be really, really good for us. Okay, all electric device, electrical devices are down. Um forgot that battery even existed so can we just reinstall that rather than build a fresh one that'd be perfect then i think that will be the power situation sorted out for at least another episode <laughs> we have five alpacas lovely 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 might need more hay uh probably gonna need lots more hay but we could always just expand this pen at some point it's not a um set in stone thing but we'll just keep an eye on that. We've got the Labradors for the quest, which is cool. As always, we're trying to do as many quests as possible. 
Still got some limestone. I think it's just because we've got the one constructor, bless them. Batteries, yeah. So we're storing a lot of energy now, which is really, really good. Obviously, it will need to hold as much as possible because in the night we won't be able to get any power. But I think that's going to be okay. We'll probably have to spread out the solar panel farms just so we have as many trees in places as possible. Because trees equal happiness. Who would have known? Who would have known? Like I said, other than that, we're just going to get defences up because eventually we're going to get hit with something hard. Obviously, everything so far has been sort of cool as a cucumber. But eventually that cucumber will turn. At this point, I don't even know the euphemism that I'm making. So <laughs> so we can't really set up any more mining jobs as much as I would like to. Because we're still on a stacked minus five for mining. But moods in the colony are pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Pearson enjoying um, smoky smoke. We've got ten smoke leaf joints. I thought we'd have a lot more, but I suppose we did use 150 for this uh, bit, uh, burn bong. So it's sort of understandable. Is there anyone else that can help with construction? Sanford sort of does it, but he's going to... All his time is going to be with crafting, really. Uh, these components over here need hauling. However, if I do remember correctly, that was it. If we look after these Labradors, we get one person. And I'm pretty sure, didn't we? We did decide they were going to be our hauler. They're a night our permanent mood boost. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Shuttle arrives in four days, so we've only got to keep the Labradors for four more days. So I know they're wondering, are going to eat meals? It's frustrating, but it is sort of... Hey, we love animals. No, it's not frustrating. We love animals. <laughs> not like that. Never like that. God, the progress is crazy. The progress is crazy. It's funny because, like, obviously I'm learning the game and I've just hit over 600 hours in RimWorld. I try and watch stuff where I can, but I mainly spend most of my time in the wiki, to be honest. Just making sure I can be as... Not efficient, but... Um, oh, an alpaca is pregnant. Really, really good. So it's really good because, as we spoke about, our alpacas... We're going to use them for wool because I didn't really realise they produced wool. Just ignore that. Which would be good because I'm sure alpaca fur will be really good for the heat as well. Oh no, it's wool. Can we make dusters out of wool or is it just leather? Because I've got a sneaky suspicion it's just leather. Oh no, we can make them out of walls. Alpaca wool, okay. So it makes sense that alpaca wool would be fairly heat resistant. So that'd be really good. And then any babies or extras we get, we can potentially sell down the line. So we can have this sort of animal... Business on the side of all our drug stuff. We can stuff them with drugs. Why have like, people never thought of that before? <laughs> yeah, we can, we can pretend we're selling animals and really they're just stuffed. Basically, they're just stuffed dead animals with drugs in them. Which is a lovely thought to think about. I'm stuck. Oh, Divine Chief has died. Oh, that's really interesting. They've got stuff like that before. So it shows you who the leaders are of certain tribes. And obviously if they die, very, very interesting. And if we have a look at factions, we get a detail. So I'm hoping we get, because what we were promised was obviously a further breakdown of like why people like us or don't like us. So this Concord that we're doing all these missions for, apparently they don't. Or are these the ones that we're still doing? So a friend in need. Yeah, that's the goodwill. So we haven't actually done that yet. And then we get, okay, that's fine, that's fine. So you're hostile against us. So if we hover over this, high life agreement. So it should, okay, this is really nice. I like it. High life agreement. So it's just we're a natural enemy, apparently. Does that mean just because we're the player, we're a natural energy? They are supr supremacists. God, the dyslexic hits hard sometimes, party people. Okay, because we traded, we get plus one. Woo. So yeah, so above 75 and they will become allied and start actively working to help you. That'll be interesting. If we go to the map quickly, where are they? Oh, hunting work site. We're going to have to go try some of these. It's really close and we're near it. And the reason why we want to be, you know, along the road is so we can move quick. So we've got quests where some sites have been found. This is a farming work site. Has potentially 510 potatoes. Very interesting. 
Where's our friends Concord? Are they miles away? They're all the way over there. The faction shows there. Yeah, they're miles away. We need to, like... We haven't got many allies that are close. But something like that, the hunting work site, a lot of leather, a lot of food. We've got a mining site down here with 15 components. So if you wish you can raid, they will become hostile. It doesn't say how many people are going to be there. But I think down the line, especially when we start getting a bit of armour and whatnot, I think that's the only thing we're lacking at the minute, is a bit of armour. Because I think weapon-wise, like Alpin, he's got all his powers, love and life. He's only got a plastil knife, which isn't the worst, but it's not the best. He's got his shield belt. Wendy's just got a revolver. Samford, just a bolt action. Macy, a shotgun. So we're loading up people. It's just a case of we need just enough stuff to be able to properly attack something. But I do want to try and do all aspects. That's why I'm making more of an emphasis on like doing quests, doing all this, all that sort of stuff. Let's um, turn that power off. I would like to turn the electric smith thing on and actually add a bill. Uh, smelt metal, do forever. Yeah, I would actually like that a lot. Uh, probably need to bring... Let's make another stockpile. Probably what we should do. Zones. No, dumping stockpile. Safeguarding friends. Let's just go on speed one, because I would like to have a look what that entails. Uh, where's my dumping stockpile? Make it a little bit bigger, then all I want in that is steel slag chunks. So get rid of that. Steel slag chunks. And they'll go there. So it's a little bit closer. Obviously not crazy. Safeguarding friends. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So it's our Concord mates. They rescued two Outlanders. They want you to guard them. The Outlanders will know secrets. Jesus. And this is my only like criticism. So... Two side, two raids, roughly about this size. Okay, so we've got gunners, mercenaries, grenaders. Two raids of that are going to hit us, and then look at them rewards. I know we're high, but we've got to be on another level of high. Two mercenary slashers will be placed under our conjunction. No, we're not high enough to do that. <laughs> Macy's addicted to smoke leaf. Oh, hey! As I've said before, guys, um, to enjoy our colony, you know, we're really going into our ideology. Yes, I said that perfect. And we're going to try and get as many drug addictions as possible. It's what we're doing. It's what our colony is, so we're going to play into that. If that means livers go, that's fine. We'll, buy, we'll get more livers. We'll do it. We're going to live the dream and we're going to enjoy it. Okay, then it's a case of getting defences, because especially if the quests are ramping up, we haven't had a pro we haven't had like a siege or anything like that yet. All right, let's start building this. Sadly, trees are going to get destroyed, but it's just sort of the case. Obviously, ooh, yeah, there's a little bit of marshiness there. There's a lot of marshiness there. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It hasn't um, hindered or upset my plans at all. That has. That's pretty much ruined the plans altogether. So we pretty much can't do it there. I mean, we could do it down here. It's not a um, a big, big thing. Hmm. The only problem is... So let's go to, for example, Samford. His range is so high. Are we making the most of this kill box? Well, I think we are. Well, it doesn't need to be, like, the biggest thing in the world. Or is it better to have it, like, over here? Okay, okay. That's something that we're going to have to put on hold for a bit. So let's put the defense plans on hold. What we could do is go into security barricades. We could just get some limestone barricades. Nothing crazy. But just at different positions in the base. Just so we can fight until we really like realize what we're going to do. I think that will be a um, good idea. So we get some barricades around. So we've got some form of defense sort of 
and then we'll we'll f- work out what we're going to do for the kill box because we're going to need a good one. That's why we're going to have to be extraordinarily picky with all the people that come to our colony because, as before in our doctrum, we are not allowed now. It's only a minus four for the turret. I don't know if it stacks. So I would assume it does stack, but I don't want to be gamey. I don't want to like cheese this playthrough. I want to really embrace my doctrine. So I am taking this as a, because it's negative, because it's against our religion, we're not going to have them. So we're going to have to work around it. So it's basically a no turret base, which I think could be exciting. <laughs> Keyword could. <laughs> it might just end really badly very quickly. Which will give you guys a laugh, make me cry, so perhaps that's what you want. If it's what you want, eh, don't blame you. Right, components, are they getting hauled? we got 11 with some more to come. That's the thing, we don't have a hauler. Turn that into a home zone just so we go put that out. We love the trees, so let's keep to that. And there's so many around, like... In this map, more than others, we have to be on top, making sure fires like that don't spread. Good job, guys. We should get... I think we should. Healthy trees, zero, okay. Rich forest, six, okay. Unless the destroying trees just hangs around for so long, which... Our defences... Thinking about it, we haven't even... Um, we've done it over trees... See, it's one thing that I'm just going to keep forgetting. But we can't build it over trees, because if we destroy trees, negative mood. And there's no real reason to um, destroy a tree for, like, no reason. Like, come on, we love life. Oh, come on. Um, okay, this one might be a little bit further out. I'm saying that, we could just put it here. Yeah, we could just put it there. That would that'll work absolutely fine. Yeah, because if they come that way, we'll jump on that one. If they come this way, we'll jump on this one. Okay. Um, don't destroy that tree. I don't know if, how close it has to get for it to, like, start to think about destroying that tree. Um, oh, God, don't say you built it. Just ignore that. And then we could make a little, like, bunker... Yeah, something like that will work quite nicely for that. I like that. To be fair, to, with something like this, because we could have built it a little bit bigger and we could actually roof it. So if we get... Uh, that's probably going a bit too far. Security. Something like that is going to be absolutely fine. Like if sappers come down here, it could be boring. Five down, or six across. So something like that will be more than enough. Cool, cool, cool. So then we've got some form of defences. If sappers come, they're probably going to target that little bit there. And I wouldn't blame them. It's just a case of do we want barricades in the base? Well, we need to see attacks, really, to see, like, weak spots and actually learn it. I love how I point out a weak spot and then I say, let's wait and see. Oh, Alpin and um, Samford are getting married. They don't hang about them too. With everything they do, they don't hang about. Do you know what I mean? They're not. They're not quick in any wonderful, a wonderful reception. And Macy slept for it. Disgust them. Disgust them. Uh, oh, saying that, I'm going to keep forgetting to do it. But Wendy, can you try and convert Macy again? I think where I keep forgetting. Like, her religion builds up. Okay, down to 37. That's fine. Keep doing it. Then she'll get a bonus from having the flop hat. Sanford, you were up for a promotion last episode. You need to get that animals to six, my man. Okay, sort of defences are going up. I know there are any barricades, but they're better than not having any barricades. So, that's sort of the argument at the moment. Until I can work out what to do. A bit of marsh there ruined my life. As I yawn. That's how professional I am. I just like yawn. Might just build the kill trap up here. Another bit of marsh. Another bit. 
Yeah, the pets will be the first ones to go. We'll just kamikaze the pets into them. <laughs> How long have we got left on these quests? So the active quests. So we've got the Labradors. Shuttle arrives in 13 hours. Lovely. So that should be tomorrow. And Pearson, the useless guy, hanging around with us three to six days. Okay. Just seeing if these ones had any more information about how many people were defending them. Otherwise, I'd be like, be a lot more keen to attack them. Like, to just uh, rob their stuff. Which sounds horrible when you say it out loud, considering we're, like, nature lovers. But we're nature lovers that have to survive. Do you know what I mean? What's wrong with Wendy? Food poisoning. Labrador food poisoning. Well, don't eat my simple meals then, and you won't get food poisoning. Simple. Keep forgetting Flint the Cat. The forgotten MVP of the series, really. There is a Labrador puppy. We'll probably just sell it. I'm not saying that we can bond with animals and whatnot, can't we? Yeah, I'm fully aware there's components here that haven't been hauled. They are deteriorating, but I'll leave them for the time being. And we plod along as always, pie people. But we made a little bit of process, progress. We didn't get the defences that we wanted up, but at least we got something. So I think as like a lesson plan, we hit all the all the things. Wendy's gonna have a breakdown. Is there anything we can do to help you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so she's high life missing. I should be altering my conscious. It's not right to be sober for so long. Drug use essential. Do we just need more drugs? Drugs to be taken every 0 0.75 days. Did she just miss out? That's a... She has some horrible... Recreation. Yeah, okay, that's my fault. Slept in the heat. Okay, that's my fault. <laughs> Failed to convert Macy. Okay, okay. Awful bed. Okay, okay. I get the picture. So we need to chop some trees down. No, what we're going to do... Shuttle arrive for the dogs. Okay, let's just sort the dogs out first. We have to ca yeah, carry to shuttle. Sanford. Where's the other dog? Where is the other dog? Right, carry them both. Is that... It's just them two, so we get to keep the puppy, yeah? Feels a bit wrong just robbing their puppy. Yeah, no, nothing happened while you were gone. You know, the, we didn't get a puppy or anything like that. It's fine. Or was that Flint the cat that I think's a puppy? No, there is a Labrador puppy. I haven't gone totally insane. There we go. So that is done. So then we get our new pet. So send. Good joins. That is good. Ha ha ha. I know. The jokes write themselves... And there we go. One for hauling, two for cleaning. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We have our hauler, we have our cleaner, which comes in good time. Especially since we've had some food poisoning, that sort of stuff. And we do have components around the map that need hauling. So that is cool. We will assign him happy person clothes. And what religion is he in? Undivided fetalism. So does that mean he just... I. I read that wrong. I met, I read it as um, like he's not decided. <laughs> oh, let's be honest. It's not the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. I wonder if Wendy. I'm curious whether Wendy just didn't. Like, why was Wendy not doing drugs? Unless I just unless I do need more, and that was the problem. But yeah, so I think next episode we're probably going to sort out the bedrooms. The question is, is how do we do that? I mean, we could just keep them there. I mean, there's not really too much else, but I think... I think what we'll probably do is just put a cooler in, like, probably this side, and then vent it, and then we don't have to worry about wood and something like that. Got a pod sprout, which we didn't... I'm sure we have another one that I would like totally forgot about. That's like really rejigged my mind. A uh, tree there. Did we not have a seed? Did we not harvest it? But I think that's going to be something we're going to do next episode. And that sort of wraps up the episode very nicely. So if you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.